Hi everybody, I'm Rachel from Rachel Cooks with Love. Today I'm going to be fixing a fantastic side dish and that's my cilantro lime rice. I think you're going to love it and it's super easy. Let's get started. Now before I fix my rice, I'm going to rinse it really, really well. It's got a lot of starch on it and I know that when you rinse it really, really good, you get a super fluffy rice. So I'm just going to rinse it like this under cold running water and just remove all of that starch on it. So now that it's rinsed really, really well, I'm just gonna let it sit here, let it drip dry, and get started on my next step. So these are the ingredients that I'm gonna be using to make my cilantro lime rice. I'm gonna use one cup of basmati rice, one teaspoon of chicken bouillon, half a teaspoon of white pepper, one lime, and I'm also gonna use the zest of this lime, one bay leaf, one piece of onion, one tablespoon of butter, and one garlic clove. And I'm also gonna be using just enough cilantro to give me about half a cup. So I'm gonna start out with about a tablespoon of olive oil. So I'm gonna put the olive oil in my pan like this. And then I'm gonna put in my one tablespoon of butter. Okay, so my butter is nice and melted. I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions. And I'm gonna saute my onions for about 30 seconds. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic. That's one garlic clove, finely minced. And I'm also going to saute my garlic for about 30 seconds. You don't want your garlic to burn. Now I'm going to add my rice. And this is one cup of rinsed basmati rice. Now I don't want my rice to get brown, so I'm just going to stir it around just so that it can absorb the olive oil and the butter. Just like this. Now I'm going to add one and a half cups of water. So there's one cup and a half. I'm going to put in my half a teaspoon of pepper, my one tablespoon of chicken bouillon, my bay leaf, I'm going to stir it around, make sure everything gets incorporated really well, and now I'm going to zest my lime. And you know the zest of this lime will give the rice a fantastic taste. Now you don't want to press in too hard and get the white part of the lime because it can get bitter on you. You just want to get the surface of it like this. Now if you don't have a zester, you can just peel some of the lime skin and just drop it in there. It will be removed after a while anyway. And that's good. 
see now I'll give it a nice little stir like this I'm gonna put the cover on and I'm gonna bring it down to a simmer and I'm gonna let my rice cook for about 15 minutes Now my timer just went off. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it off the heat, turn off my stove, and I'm gonna fluff it up. I'm just going to flip it over like this. Now it's still very wet. That's why it doesn't have a fluffy look about it. But it will after we let it sit for 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna flip it over like that. Just bring it back to its place. And I'm going to put the cover back on. And I'm going to let it sit there for 15 minutes. And by then it should be really fluffy. So my 15 minutes are up. I'm going to bring my rice over here. Now I can remove the lid. And you know this bay leaf, you can discard the leaf. You don't need it anymore. So... See how pretty and fluffy it is? Now, the fluffiness comes after you let it sit for about 15 minutes because it's very hot. And as all that hot steam evaporates and just starts leaving the rice, it starts to get real nice and fluffy and it won't be wet on you anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in this dish here. And it smells so good. Because you know your uh, basmati rice just naturally has a, a very nice uh, aroma. So there's my rice. See how nice that looks? Now here's the lime that I used when I was zesting it. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze half of a lime. Now I like to use just half of it because I don't like a lot of lime juice so that it doesn't overpower your rice. But it's up to you. If you want to use a little bit more lime juice, then you can do that. So I'm going to squeeze the lime juice in here. Just like that. And I've got my cilantro here. I'll put my cilantro in here. And you know, this dish goes so good with so many things. I picked some delicious chicken kebabs. And I made a fantastic sauce using barbecue sauce. And I used honey and chipotle adobo sauce in there. And it is just so good. Look at this rice. So you want to just toss it around a little bit, make sure that that lime juice distributed in there really good. So you want to toss it around like this. And make sure it all comes together with the lime juice and the cilantro. Like that. Mm. This is going to go so perfect with my chicken, chipotle, honey, barbecue, kebabs. So I'm going to go ahead and serve myself. Ooh, these are hot. So these are my chicken kebabs. Now I've got a video going on this. And I was thinking of fixing them along with the rice, but I totally forgot. So when I had my kebabs already in the oven is when I thought about it. So, But I'll have a video out soon. See? 
So now for the taste test. Oh my gosh. This is so delicious. So light and fluffy. And it's got that slight taste of the lime juice with a cilantro along with it. Oh, it's just so good. And I'm going to be having it with my delicious chicken kebabs. Mmm. You know, the reason I like the chicken kebabs along with my rice is because I make this glaze for honey chipotle and barbecue sauce. So the sweet and the tanginess of the lime together are so perfect. So this is my cilantro lime rice. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do. Share with your friends. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.